My name is Nathan Schoonover. I specialize in the occult. I also research what the history is of the location. Why don't you communicate to us like you did to all those people who ignored you? You bang! As hard as you could! And they did not respond. Where is it now? Nathan's really emotionally changed. Yeah, he's turned trying, around a lot in that. I'm starting to wonder if the energy is having an effect on him. Anything you can do, I know this is horrible. You spent your whole life screaming for help. Well, help is here! If they don't get some great Class A EVPs, I'm going to be surprised. He's doing a great job, I think. Probably one of the most prominent stories about Hell Hollow Road is that of Maud Reynolds. It's the two-year-old child who died of diphtheria, a swelling of the throat. That has started numerous rumors. In fact, one of those rumors was that Maud was a witch. Papa Lugba likes rum, so we're offering some up to him. Papa Lugba, open the gate so we may enter. Baron Semite likes tobacco. Baron Semite, we ask you to open the gates at the crossroad to the dead. She likes sparkling water. Mama Brigitte, open the door and let Julia Brown come out to speak with us. Come through the gate, Julia Brown. One of the important things I've learned about paranormal investigations over the last 20 years is when you're working in a spiritual realm, you really have to focus on the natural, not the supernatural. Just because something happens doesn't mean it's a ghost. Just because there's a coincidence or inappropriate timing doesn't necessarily mean that's Stay evidence. Oh, no. That light bulb? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. see. This way we can, if there's anything that's going to light up, we can, and the one way back there. Oh, sure, make me walk in the dark. Uh, no, I got a light. I'll, I'll light you up there. Could something be there? Something haunting the place that feeds on that energy? Yes, there could be. The reports alone make it interesting. The reports alone make me want to go there and have dinner. It doesn't make me think that the place is 100% haunted, but I can't rule it out.